Hi, my name is Kyle. Welcome to my five minute guitar tutorials because the internet has blown up my capacity to concentrate on anything longer than that. I'm going to teach you how to play All Who Remains today. So, first thing you're going to do is drop your D. The second thing I want to tell you is be kind to yourself and be gentle with yourself with this because it's a hard one. I didn't play guitar for a month and I picked up an acoustic and tried to play this and it was a fucking disaster. <laughs> so it requires a lot of dexterity, a lot of barring, a lot of finger stretching, which is good news if you're trying to be a better player because it's a great practice. So what I'm going to do is um, we're just going to use the bottom three strings and I'm going to make it as easy as possible for you to learn this. Um, I'm going to call out the fret numbers and then the finger positions for every chord. So let's go. We're going to start with 0, 0, 4, and then we're going to go 2, 2, 6. Uh, you're going to bar the first two strings with your first finger, and then use your pinky on the 6. So that's one shape right there. And then the next shape is 4, 5, 7. So my ring finger is not doing anything. Um, you're going to use your first, middle, and pinky. And then you're going to take that same exact shape and move it to 6, 7, 9. Same shape. Okay, and then the same shape is 2, 2, 6. So this one, you're going to do it 7, 7, 11. So bar the first two with your pinky and the 11. And then you're going to take the essence of that shape and go 4-4-7. Four, four, and then finally 0-0-4. Zero, zero, and that's it. So a secret guitar trick is that a lot of younger players when they're starting out don't realize that they can move their wrists and have a lot of dexterity with it. So watch when I play how my hand moves and even my entire shoulder moves so I can make that stretch. So here it goes. Look at that. There's a fluidity to it. So, and then at the end of the chorus is there's a D minor shape. And the best way I can explain that is you're gonna take a D chord and you're gonna flip it upside down. So a D chord is two, three, two. You're gonna go three, two, three. It's just cool on itself. And then when you're gonna take that three, two, three shape and then move it up one string. Okay? And there's the D minor. And the light you give the human. It's that part. So the last thing we're going to do, because we're running out of time, is the bridge. You're going to bar A, A, second fret, D string. And then you're basically just going to walk up the D string. Zero, two, four, six. I'm using my thumb. You're gonna move the two to the four right there. And then you're gonna hit an A chord. And with A chords, I like to take my pinky off. It sounds beautiful like that. So there you go, that's the entire song. You got it, Buster. Keep killing it.